Hello, everybody. We just got back from a film. Yeah. That we watched. First one of 2018. Yeah, first animated film 2018. Brr, 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 brr. It's early, man. And one might say it's early, man, in the year. I mean, it uh, is February. Yeah, it's actually kind of late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bad jokes aside, uh, it's a movie. Just and it's like British. <laughs> Just like some of the jokes in the movie. Yeah, they yeah. don't necessarily land. Uh, That's all right, though. Yeah, I guess we'll say we're going to go into this non-spoilers first, and then mm -hmm. uh, we'll talk about the trailers that we got. Well, two. Did we get trailers? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got trailers. Right, for two movies coming out on the same day, but we'll get to that. And then we'll go into the spoiler section. Yeah. I think this is going to be a pretty short review. Yeah, it's probably going to be a pretty short review. I don't know if we necessarily have a whole lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Plus, the non-spoiler section is going to be very short because I think there are spoilers within the first seconds of the film. Yeah. Because, uh... Just going to put this out there. This movie is not going to play out how you think it's going to play out. <laughs> Because, I mean, I don't know necessarily what the trailers show, but I don't think it shows the premise of the entire film. At all. I don't and know. I, don't I can't think talk I've about actually... this in any way other than vagaries. Yeah, like, I don't feel... Like, I think I saw a trailer for this, but I don't remember it being about anything that happened in the film. No, I was just looking at, uh, like, all of the released images and stuff, and uh -huh. there's nothing. Oh, wow. There is nothing about what 80% of this movie is. Ooh, okay. So this <sighs> is going to be really short. So a uh, brief synopsis of what the trailers tell you this movie is about. Okay. Which, I mean, is technically still true. Um, it's about a group of cavemen. Uh-huh. And uh, then people from the Bronze Age come in and they're like, hey, we're taking your land. And they're like, well, crap, we need to get it back. And that's all you get. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Wow. I did not realize the trailers were that vague. Uh-huh. Oh. I mean, again, I haven't necessarily seen that many trailers. It's like I saw a teaser trailer. But we're just going off of that because I, I don't even know if people have seen a whole lot of trailers for this movie. And yeah. also, they have kept this a very good secret. <laughs> yeah. It's a Which secret to a everyone. Which is shame because then they spoil their secret. Right away at the beginning of the movie. I don't know. I think it's a fun surprise for what this movie's about. <laughs> um, you know, uh, we're talking about this and people are just like, what is it? What is it? Unless, what is the secret of early man? They type rapidly into Google. <laughs> don't do that. Unless uh, there is trailers that show like everything that goes on. And, and we're, we're just full just, of crap. We're just vaguing here real hardcore and everyone's like, we know, we know it's about blah. It, baka. Don't baka me. This is a very British movie. <laughs> Okay. You imbecile. <laughs> um, I guess before going into this movie, we should kind of just talk about Ardman in general, because this is the first time we're talking about any Ardman film. Mm -hmm. Stop motion. Yeah. With CG. <laughs> yeah, with CG. Because, um, yeah. I really enjoy Ardman. Uh, they're not my favorite company in the world, but I always find their films to be really charming mm -hmm. and enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, of the few, very few companies that do stop motion films, uh, they're always enjoyable. Mm -hmm. You're just I, like, huh, that was a good, enjoyable British romp. I just always feel like <laughs> that Ardman. Witch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I always just feel like Ardman uh, does exactly what it sets out to do. Mm -hmm. It's not trying to make. Or generally, they're not trying to make, like, deep philosophical movies. Or even the more, quote-unquote, Pixar-type movies, where it's a fun comedy romp most of the way through. And then it has, like, that serious scene that makes you cry. Nope, this whole movie is just, yeah, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna have silly, silly willy fun. There's some emotions, but you're not gonna tear up or mm -hmm. anything like that. Um, would you recommend this film? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, if... If you like British stuff, watch this. <laughs> if you... If you like British humor, check. If you like... Uh... <laughs> like the thing that we're not talking about. Like the thing that we're not talking about, then you'll probably really enjoy this film. And if you like the concept of wacky caveman shenanigans... If you like the concept of things from the past acting as though things from the, like, have future tech, but in past forms, like, oh, look, that guy's shaving using a bug. Right. Type of stuff. If you like things like that, you're going to get a lot out of this film, because this that's the whole film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, if those things all sound interesting to you, I check it out. If mm -hmm. it... If none of those things sound interesting to you, then I'd probably give this a pass. Yeah, I mean, we'll have other films coming up soon that you can go watch those instead. Yeah. Um, other non-spoilery things? Well, plus this film has to compete with, like, Black Panther and Peter Rabbit, which has definitely been more, like, heavily marketed. Uh-huh. Yeah, the biggest thing about this movie is it's having a limited release here in America, at least. Mm hmm And uh, is coming out on the worst weekend for them to make any money. Yeah. Because it's, it's Black Panther. So, yeah. Well, poor Ardman doesn't have DreamWorks distributing for them anymore, which is kind of both a blessing and a curse. Yeah. Yeah, because DreamWorks is like, you need to change these things. Mm-hmm. And now I think they're more free to do what they want, but also, uh, it's like Summit, I think that's the company that was distributing. I think that's what I remember seeing at the beginning of the movie. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's like they don't do any advertising at all, so. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of thing where like, someone's like, oh yeah, I guess I saw a trailer for that. Is that coming out soon? Like, yeah, this weekend. Oh! oh. That's neat. Okay. Uh, so trailers? Yeah, let's talk about the two trailers we saw. So, first up is another stop motion film. Oh, plus I'm so looking forward to this. Isle of Dogs. Yes, so looking forward to Isle of From Dogs. From Wes Anderson. We love Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, it's so good. If you're not picking up on what we're talking about, that was the last stop motion film that Wes Anderson did. Mm -hmm. Wes Anderson does a lot of Art, art films, if you might want to call them. I mean, he's still pretty, like, it's he's still really pretty well popular, mm -hmm. considering he's considered more of an artsy guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's probably yeah. one of the most popular art film guys that you're going to find. Mm -hmm. And he did one uh, stop motion film, like, 10 years ago at this 2009, point? 2009, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nearly I'm 10 years sure ago I'm pretty sure it's 2009, because that was the year of, like, holy shit, who do we give the award to year? Because there's a lot of good stuff. It, w it was, if, if I remember this correctly, it was Up, Coraline, Fantastic Mr. Fox, How to Train Your Dragon, or Kung Fu Panda... Or something like that. I can't I mean, say that I'm sure, but... It was a crazy year for It animation. was around that zone. And yeah, those all sound like really good films. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's it's very distinctive of Wes Anderson. The color schemes, the framing of everything, the humor <laughs> is spot on and amazing and I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to this just film. Just more of that. Yeah, just because you it's... You could see it in the trailer. Just because it's directed by Wes Anderson and... I I love the deadpan humor mm -hmm. so and much. Just the staring directly into the camera yeah. and expositing, which normally you don't think that works, but it just does for these films. Plus, it's a movie about dogs, and I'm like, yeah, I'm In Japan. down with that. Yeah. In Japan. Yeah. And uh, like half the cast is actually Japanese or something. Oh, that's cool. Or, I mean, I don't know if, like, half, but I know they got actual Japanese people to do the voices of the Japanese characters. That's neat. Uh, so, yeah, there's that movie. And, and then, then on the same day, and this comes out middle of March, March right? March 23rd. Both of these films are coming out. So you're going to get, like, a double feature from us. Yeah. I mean, we wish we could just skip the one and only watch that one we just talked about. Oh. But the other one is Sherlock. 
Gnomes. A Gnomeo and Juliet sequel. Yeah, because that's what everybody wanted. <sighs> a Gnomeo and Juliet sequel. Every trailer I see for this film, it just looks worse and worse. Yeah, it just keeps getting worse. And then I found then I found out that Johnny Depp is the one playing Sherlock Gnomes, and now I'm just... Uh, now I don't uh, want to watch this film at all. Yeah, just on principle. Fuck that guy in particular. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, man. Yeah, I don't... Let's not even... Yeah. We saw the, a new trailer for it, and it looks bad. It looks terrible. But, hey, we'll be seeing it. Yep. So. With any luck, that'll just be the worst film we see this year, and we'll only get better stuff after it. I can only hope. Uh, either way, uh, let's get into the spoiler section now for Early Man. So, mm -hmm. th the thing that we've been skirting around this whole time is this movie's about football. Or soccer, if you're American. Yeah. That's the whole movie. It's it's a sports movie. It's a sports movie. So if you like sports, specifically football, like European football, you're going to love this film. Because yeah. Because it's all football jokes. If you saw the trailer and thought the trailer was really vague and didn't give you an idea about what the movie's about, this is why. <laughs> I don't know why this is a secret. <laughs> because literally, in the first minute of the film... A meteorite hits the earth. And it's in the shape of a football, which the cavemen then start playing football with because they, like, pick it up and it's hot. So they start tossing it around and then they start kicking it to each other and they have a lot of fun with it. And then they set up, like, goals and yeah. cavemen invented football. And that's the premise of the movie. Yep. And it, then it turns out that the Bronze Age people, like, worship football. Oh, they fucking love the sport. Yeah. So, and then they come in and they're stealing the land of the cavemen and they're like, we challenge you to football. And, but there's also this thing where, uh, the cavemen's ancestors were act, like taught other people how to play football as well, except they're just really shit at it. Yeah. So they stopped playing. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much of this film because this film doesn't have too much to spoil. I think that's all the spoilers there really are. That we're going to talk about mm -hmm. anyway. Um, but. Plot wise. <laughs> as far as, like, this movie <laughs> is pretty weak on the story slash world building aspect. Yeah. And even, I'm going to say right now, the ending is pretty lackluster as well. Oh, yeah. It's like, that's what you're ending the movie with? Yeah, it just, like, it wraps up really quick, and there's not a whole lot of follow-through on things. Yeah, it's like, oh, I would have done this differently. It mm -hmm. would have been a more satisfying end. Right. But you're going with this one for the callback to the one thing that was said once at the beginning of the mo Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, as far as just, like, fun comedy, um, enjoyable cast of characters, mm -hmm. a, a bizarre scenario, I mean, it's Oh, it's, it's, it's a very strange film. And yet again, if you really like sports movies... Like, I think this is going to be right up your alley. Because for us, we're not big sports movie fans. No. But we thought this was about the same quality as Pirates Band of Misfits. Which was the last Arbman film. Mm-hmm. But we both agree that we like that film more. But we also just like Pirates more. <laughs> right. So it was like, well, Pirates is more of an aesthetic for us. We like that kind and of scientists. like... scientists. Yeah. Well, I think the actual title of it is, it's something like... The British title is... Pirates versus Scientists or something. It has scientists in the name of it. Mm -hmm. It's just when it was redistributed by DreamWorks, they're like, change the no, name. No, DreamWorks no? wasn't distributing. No, no, DreamWorks hasn't been distributing since Flushed Away. Wow. Yeah, that was their, that was their quote unquote like last chance with DreamWorks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, also DreamWorks just had to downsize because... Well, that's true. DreamWorks yeah. mm -hmm. likes digging a hole for itself. It hasn't stopped. <laughs> but now it's sold off to a different company, and who knows what will happen with it now. Poor DreamWorks. Uh. Anyway, this isn't about DreamWorks. This is about Ardman. This is about Ardman, and the fact that they just keep 
doing this. Mm -hmm. They obviously enjoy it. I don't... I have no idea how... Oh, we saw another trailer. How we forgot this to makes mention how, how lucrative this, like th just doing these films is for them. I mean, it's obviously working for them, even if it's just mostly in Britain. I just don't know. I mean, they obviously don't have the budget of like Leica. That, yes. Yeah. They don't have a Leica budget. <laughs> no. Um, but I think that, that they make like, like, their films always look good for the kind of budget I imagine that they have. Yeah. Like, I think they make their budget work. Oh, yeah. I think the very simplistic uh, art style that they always use mm -hmm. works very well for them in that case. Oh, yeah. Because it's like, you see any of their films, you're like, oh, yeah, that's obviously Ardman. Yeah, and this is the one case. Um, Ardman kind of does that animation style that I'm not too crazy about where it's, you know, like jumpy movements. Mm -hmm. um, Ardman definitely doesn't do it as bad as like, say, Illumination, who's just so lazy uh. with their animation and stuff like that. Ardman definitely takes time with their animation, but I think they do create a few clever shortcuts for use of comedy by using that animation style a few times in their films. Mm -hmm. And it's really fun to see that in stop motion play out because you don't get to see that very often. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think this is just going to be a short... Yeah. I mean, I don't really have anything else to say other than not a great film, but not a bad film either. It was yeah. fun to see it, but... Uh, I mean, it certainly doesn't stand up to how great uh, last year's first film was. No, and with, uh, I Lego probably Batman. won't be picking this film up right away. No, I mean, we'll own it eventually because we're aiming to own... Most all, animated films. Most all animated films of, of all time, if we can manage it. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's one of those that we'll probably wait on this one. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, I must have this now or yeah. anything like that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, if a sports movie with cavemen and, and Bronze Age people sounds cool to you, go check it out. Oh, and the main villain is uh, played by Loki. Yes, that is also a good selling point. I mean, he sounds nothing like Loki, but... But Tom Hiddleston plays the villain, and <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Yeah, he's pretty enjoyable. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, that's it. Uh, join us back here for the weekend of the March 23rd for a double feature. Yeah. Of I don't know Nomeo which one Juliet. you'll get first, but... Uh, maybe Nomeo and Juliet just to get it out of the way. Oh, man. But either way, both of those <laughs> movies will be coming to you that weekend, and we'll see you then. Bye.